Alright, this is Net Control K2 GOG for Ulster Northern Duchess Readiness Net. Uh, turning it over to KD2 PTX for a brief one minute uh, announcement regarding a upcoming military auxiliary radio service communications exercise. KD2 PTX over to you at 9.24 p.m. Thank you, Net Control. This is KD2 PTX. I am a, a U.S. Army Mars member, and I am relaying traffic to this station uh, from U.S. Army Mars slash DOD. Message as follows. The Department of Defense and the U.S. Army Military Auxiliary Radio System will be conducting a national DOD emergency exercise, COMEX 22-2, May 2nd through the 7th, 2022. We anticipate traffic to your net as well as potential rally point contacts each day on 60 meters channel 1 at 10 p.m. and 12 p.m. local starting May 3rd. We will identify as Bravo, Maine. We wait more detailed instructions from DOT tasking orders. Thank you for your continued support during this important exercise. That is the message. Net control. That's three you like you. All right, net control. I'll uh, send it to you. N three EYQ. Uh, can you confirm that message as AMC? So I'm trying to. Uh, it, it was pretty quick for um, you know something to write down, but. Uh, um, <coughs> Army Mars, something about uh, May 2 to 7, and I, I, I missed a lot of what was beyond that, but it, it, it was pretty quick, so uh, now if you wanted to do it as, as a message, and, you know, like, like our, our, our messaging format, you really got to slow down. It's for you, IQ. by before I go to DJ, uh, going back to you, Paul, and 3UIQ, at a high level that you understand it, rather than just having to read it back verbatim, the key points of information that John mentioned were the date of when this is happening and what is it. So if you can just high level summarize when is it, that would be useful. Uh, so and 3 uiq back to you. Yeah, I... I did get the gist of the message, but, you know, if, if he has a message for us, and, uh, you know, if he's passing traffic, per se, you know, he really got, he's really got to slow down a little bit, because hey, we're not that quick. All right, well, it wasn't meant as traffic uh, in that format, but uh, confirmed, uh, I, I could agree on that, but uh, let me go to CJKD2IIN uh, with comments and questions. KD2IIN, two things, I uh, recorded it, and I don't have it for a replay immediately, but uh, May 2nd through the 7th at 10 p.m. and 12 p.m., I believe it's channel 1 on 60 meters, there is uh, basically a, a Mars net. All right, I'll put it back to that. KD2, aye. All right, thank you on that, DJ. Uh, so, John, KD2 PTX, over to you. Uh, there's your feedback on the message and the delivery of message and the major contents of it. So, uh, back to you to clarify anything. Uh, KD2 PTX from that control. Net control, this is KD2 PTX. Uh, I read that message to this net in that particular format. I did not send a radiogram message, okay? I was planning on sending this message to your group uh, via email, via WinLink uh, email over RF. I can repeat this message and slow my sentence structure down tremendously no. for you if you would like and no. I can re read this message. Advise net control. This is KD2 PTS.
Just give us a data card. Yeah. All right, Roger, uh, KD2PTX. So, um, would you like him to uh, repeat it, Paul? And if yes, would you want to read it back? Entirely up to you. No pressure. Uh, but since you mentioned it, uh, giving you that opportunity. So, over to you, uh, Paul, for uh, your feedback on that. I'll explain traffic in a minute. No, not really. I, I, like I, said, I, I was in the 80 for eight years, and <laughs> you know, we wanted to get everything down verbatim, but I, uh, I'm going to say no. I got the gist of the message. If, if it's not really required that I get it down verbatim, don't worry about it. All right, very good. And I'm not trying to put anyone on the spot, but I think the most important parts are the key information, and that's why having formats like a radiogram, like you mentioned, uh, Paul, right? Having those, or like an ICS-213 form, you know, having these known formats of, you know, information in a certain format that's important to rapidly be able to, for example, scan with your eyeballs an ICS-213 form, quickly read it from left to right and from up to down, and very quickly ascertain what a situation is, what's being communicated, what's needed of specific people, etc. So, formats are good, and uh, there we go. So, uh, John, over to you for any last minute comments or what have you. And then so basically traffic is passed from amateur radio operator to amateur radio operator verbatim so that people can send messages from one person to another. I don't know if I'm on the screen here. So people can send messages from one person to another, um, and when it gets into the local area where the message is going, if phone lines aren't available or uh, postal service or any of that kind of stuff, then the message would be delivered. The person would actually go to the person's house and deliver a piece of paper with a telegram, a radio telegram, giving the exact message. So say once someone's deployed in, say, Iraq, uh, Afghanistan, Roger, wherever, they're unable to communicate with family members directly. They can send information through amateur radio service via the traffic nets, and those traffic nets will actually carry that information around the globe and deliver them to the person's family's doorstep or to whoever the message is going to. So that's what he was talking about with traffic, just so you understand. That said, this has been a demonstration of some of the capabilities of amateur radio. I hope you found it interesting and informative. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network. If you want to see more amateur radio stuff, please make a comment down below and let me know because uh, I'm not sure how many people really actually care on this channel. Uh, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network. May 5th. 2022. Well, life sure has been interesting the past few months, actually the past year and a half. But tonight, I'm standing by. It is currently 9.57 p.m. and I'm waiting for a MARS, Military Amateur Radio Service, net to start on 60 meters, which is an HF band, also known as SWR shortwave band. These are bands that skip off the ionosphere and can travel great distances. Echo Main, this is Echo Main 3, you are readable, over. And I'll be checking into this net, because this is a military net, and it's very intriguing to me. So stand by.
Bravo, Maine. Kilo Delta 2, India, India, November. Gathering data for you right now. is local closest military base to me is the US Army Reserve in Kingston New York it is 5.64 miles I repeat 5.64 miles at a heading of 264.57 that's 264.57 degrees QSL, QSL, KD2I and clear back to net. Bravo, Maine, this is November 2, Hotel Mike Mike with traffic. November 2, Mike Mike, get in with your traffic. Roger, Roger, Bravo, Maine. Hotel Mike Mike, happy Mickey Mouse, November 2, Hotel Mike Mike. My closest military facility is Picatinny Arsenal. Distance 21.56 miles at a bearing of 192.73 degrees. Over. Uh, November 2, 
Mike Mike. What was the name of the uh, facility? Yeah, it's Hotel Mike Mike. Hotel Mike Mike. It's Ticketini Arsenal. Ticketini Arsenal. And it around Dover, New Jersey. Ticketini Arsenal. 21.56 miles. And a heading of 192.73 degrees. Over. over the radio just so you know what that weird noise is. So, that is an HF military amateur radio service net, Department of Defense net, and basically what they're doing is just testing communications to make sure they can stay in contact. Um, I guess I'll elaborate more on this at another point, probably after I do some editing on this video. I uh, hope you found this interesting or informative. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network, and I'm sure we'll catch you in the next video. You know, We do ram pumps, bees, regenerative agriculture, amateur radio, down the list. So tune on into the channel and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if that's your thing. Thanks for watching.